Hello everybody and I want to take this time to show you guys a magazine, Popular Science. I'm sure you all have seen this before but this is one of the better magazines and I hope this is the model that a lot of them take instead of just PDFing in a magazine copy of the print version which is okay it's cheaper but I like this. Let's show you how this works. As you can see here we have the cover but the text is separate from the cover. It's really nice. We just swipe over like this to get to turn the pages. When we get to our stories. We can scroll down like this. I like how our stories scroll. Take two fingers and bring up our contents. And let's go on through. Here's another story. If you use two fingers to swipe, it jumps sections, but we don't want to do that. And now we can scroll up to read this story here. This is a, I, I really, really enjoy this layout that, that, that Popular Science has here. Uh, I don't like the turning the pages as much as I do a layout like this. This is really nice. Now, to read the story, all we got to do is scroll up this column here, as you can see. And, of course, this works in portrait mode, too. That's not an issue. So, let me just scroll through here a little bit so you can see what this kind of acts like. Here's the stories. You know all the stories. Just scroll. I like how the text scrolls over the things. Here's the goods, which, let's go back. Now when this comes up, you can see we got a Dremel here, and we've got the Dremel picture in the background. Come up here to this little super drive, it flips the super drive picture into the background. As you can see, it's really nice how they've got this done. And the thing about these digital magazines are, they go forever and ever and ever. It's like you're never going to get to the end of them. That's why I'm wanting. To, that's why I'm going through this so I can show you guys how much content is in a digital version of a magazine. It seems like there's so much more than what's in the print version. Pretty nice, huh? What do you guys think? I think this is the. I think this is the uh, platform that people should be concentrating on. To be honest with you, I really like how they've got this laid out. For some reason, it really appeals to me the way this text scrolls over top of the picture. You see, here's yet another article. Tons and tons of stuff to read. And I hope Popular Science comes out with some more issues soon because I'll be the first to get them. I really like this. And of course we can do it this way. Same way. If I can get it straight here. It works the same way, but I prefer to do it like this. Really awesome, awesome stuff here. The deepest drills. You know, this is some really interesting stuff for geeks. 
I really like this x-ray gadget stuff here. You can go through and uh, let's go back. It shows you these uh, pictures x-ray. There's a cell phone. I don't know if it's the iPhone or not, but the shock bullet gun. As you can see, it shoots a shock, and when it hits you, it shocks you. So, I'm not, I'm done showing you this. I'm not going to show you uh, everything in the magazine because it's just going to take too long. This article here is about time, how time flies, and there's a lot of read. These are the 10 worst jobs in science. More than meets the eye. Transformers costume that looks just like it walked off the movie screen. And here's yet another article. And another article. It's just all kinds of good stuff. So check out Popular Science. It is really, really worth the look. Um, is there anything else? Any other magazines? Now we've got the cheaper magazines. If I can find one. Here we go. Let's see. Here's 3D artist. As you can see, it's just a normal book, and you can swap the pages like this, but I really like Popular Science's layout better. And of course, you can zoom in on a picture. Well, like this, I guess. And you can read, you know, and all that good stuff if you want to. But you can also turn it like this. Okay, so I think magazines are going to go a long, long way on the iPad. There's so many different form factors. I think a lot of people are testing the waters right now about what kind of format works and what kind of format don't. And so far, they all seem to work. This is, you know, some of them are more clunky than others. Some of them are smoother. Some of them are more creative. But for the most part, magazines on the iPad is a wonderful, wonderful thing to behold. Now this is this is a 3D artist. As you can see, there's still ads in the magazine, just like regular magazines. Okay, let's see if there's anything else. Uh, what other magazines do I have on here? As you can see, I like to keep my first page Apple only apps, and my dock is Apple only. Let me see if I can find another magazine here. Here's I create. Here's how it works. We'll look at the solar system. Well, no, let's look at how the brain works. And if we bring up down here, you can see we got our little, we can scroll through our pages. We can go back that way, we'll go back this way. And here's the cover. Okay. How it works. So let's go ahead and get into this. I love How It Works magazine. It is a brilliant magazine. 
talks about the body, animals, insects, space, cars, you name it. It talks about it. It's awesome. Really great stuff in how it works. And as you can see, it works really, really well. And I've been going through here and reading magazines. The same, you know, I got so much stuff I can read on here. You seen how many issues I had of how it works? Let's see, let's go back. We'll say how it works. You can see I got all these issues. And plus I'm subscribed for the next six months. So let's see, here's GQ. GQ is kinda odd. It don't matter which I mean it, it each way you turn it, it's gonna get gonna get a different layout. Um, let's, down here you can navigate your stories okay if you turn it this way let's see if I can line this up with the camera here and this one kind of scrolls over to the side like this it scrolls along let's try to find us a, a, an article for God's sakes here we go well that's not an article is it <laughs> here we go uh, as you can see, we get this nice layout here. Good deal. If you want to zoom in on a page, you can do that. That's not an issue. That's not that's not a problem. And uh, we can also go this way, but you see when we turn it this way, with the GQ magazine, let's see if I can get it straight. Well, I think you get the point anyway. When we turn it into portrait mode, we get a totally different view of our story. You see, it's not consistent. And we can click this way to go through the pictures re relating to the story, which I don't think these pictures were available if we turn it this way. You see? At least I don't think so. Well, yeah, they are, but they're all in page format. You see? So it just depends on how you want to read the story. That's GQ. I really, I mean, at first glance, you might think, ooh, but GQ, the app, it works really smooth and it's really responsive. That's what I like about it. I don't have to wait a second for the page to turn. Okay, that's GQ. Let's see what else there is. Here's iCreate. This is basically the same as those other magazines. You can turn it this way here. So I'm wanting to give you an idea of what these magazines look like, what they work like. I can't get enough of these magazines on the iPad. I really can't. And I can't get this thing straight anyway. It don't look like. Anybody want to donate me a tripod? Because <laughs> if you do, I promise I'll make more videos like this. As you can see, this iCreate magazine, really, really great articles if you're an Apple fan. iPad! So, what do you guys think? I'm really enjoying it. This is just completely and utterly awesome. I wish comic books worked this way. I love flipping the page like that. Let's go through and tell. This is the latest issue of iCreate. Anybody who owns an iPad can go to the store and get this. And it's got a really long feature length about the iPad. It goes on and on and on, even three more pages worth. Um, let's see. As you can see. So we can go on up, 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 up. All kinds of good content here. Um, especially, you know, let's see, Mac users. Now, see, as you can see, some of these magazines like GQ, when I hit the go to the page button down here, it went. I like that slider bar. But this, this isn't really real super responsive. But for as cheap as these things are, 
um, there it is, for as cheap as these uh, subscriptions are compared to the print version, it's worth it to me. Is there anything else? Have I pretty much covered all the magazines I got? I think so. Here's the Mac user. If you want to check out Mac user. Here's all the magazines they have for sale. And of course you can subscribe. Let's see here. What one do I own? Let's see. We own. Let's check this one out. It's January 2010 issue. Okay. Nice color. It renders nicely. It looks good. You can zoom in if you want to read something. And there we go. This is Mac user. Some great magazines. I got so much reading to do, guys. I can lay in bed. I lay in bed every night for an hour and a half and, and read magazines and books, watch movies, and I ain't got a fool with no netbook. And you can't do this on a netbook, guys. You can't do this on a netbook. This is just too sweet, too convenient, and too much of a pleasure to use to even be comparing it to a netbook. I can't kick back in bed with a netbook like I can this thing. And I don't get the experience either. Just look at this experience. This is just flat out awesome. Balmer shows off tablets at CES. Now this is in the latest issue of Mac user. Okay. Look at that thing. Look how little. Well, you know what? I'm not going to say that. It looks about the same size as the iPad. As a matter of fact, it looks exactly like the iPad. So this has been a demo of some of the magazines I have. Now, I haven't got time. I would love to have Time Magazine, but I refuse to pay them $5 a week. And I refuse to buy... You know what? I would pay $5 a week. You know what's stopping me from paying $5 a week? Each episode is its own application. I don't want that. I don't want to be dealing with 52 applications a year if they give me one ma issue a week and each issue is its own application. No way, that's too too much too much managing uh, of applications. I want one app to access all issues, just like all these other magazine applications. This one app per issue is bullcrap, and I'm not paying five dollars per issue. So you're wanting me to buy a five dollar app every week? Forget you time. You know, make it work, make it reasonable, and I'll get it. And I think that's about it. I might have had... Do I have... Is there a Newsweek magazine? Yeah, here's a Newsweek magazine. But it's... It's, it's Newsweek Mobile. And it's from the iPad. Or iPod. And, you know, you can scale it up. But... I don't know if Newsweek is on top of it yet. So I think that's all the magazines I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you a brief overview. Oh, yeah. And if you don't have TwitPad for the T... For, if you don't have TwitPad yet... Go get it for a dollar. You can watch Twit live, and then you can and you can and, and you can participate in the chat. Just put in a password. Or that my timing is bad. Like sometimes I don't know. If you do it this way because we're in that sort of early adopter kind of tech world. Sometimes a little too early on stuff. You know? <laughs> so that will happen. Oh, like, but, you know, because I'm writing a lot now. That you know, someone will say to me, "Oh, so you now know, I want you to write about this new site chat roulette." So there we go, guys. I think that's going to about do it. Is there anything that I've missed as far as uh, app, uh, magazines go? So anyways, thank you guys for tuning in to this magazine overview. I hope you all have uh, taken something from this and, and helped make your mind up if you want to get one or not. And I recommend it totally. And we'll see you next time. OS 10, brothers.